No, it's the 29th of uh, July. We almost said February. And it's 6.40. Temperature 58. And, uh, looks like a nice day. We some clouds up there in the north. <clears throat> Sunrise is at 5.03. So it's at uh, 813. Can I say the temperature? 58 degrees? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to up at 6. I try to roll over in bed, but I finally conceded to wake up. See some movement of the barn. There's a hair over there by the main door. I don't think Flynn sees it yet. Let's see what he knows. You stand there all day? Come on, Flynn, let's go. Ten. There's two. Tippy toe. Which one you guys go say hi to? Come Under the grass, huh? You can come over and say hi. Well, that guy's gone. You can come over and say hello? No? Then why are you looking at the guy all the way over there? The one right in front of you. They're both gone. Right? Let's go. Right, let's go. I hear somebody using a chainsaw. Well, took a little ride over to uh, Danforth yesterday. My brother's got uh, some acreage over there. And uh, either he pays somebody or somebody cuts his field to be able to harvest the, uh, the hay. But uh, first time I've seen the uh, bales of hay, rolled up bales of hay around the field. I think Rita counted 30 of them. Uh, 
Where <coughs> Bill was up uh, for driven some time. Spent four days up here, I think. And uh, I don't believe he went up to his property. got 50 acres up there and uh, from the road on his property you can uh, I think it's the St. John River it goes between Canada and Maine I'm not sure if it's Newfoundland so we're too south today South. South. Good boy. Well, it's Monday. Oh, yeah, it was a nice ride up. Oh, I think it's uh, 23 miles. 24 miles. More house up to uh, Bill's property. I had, for some reason, I thought it was 13, but that's clearly not it. I think from the intersection of uh, 169 and 171, up there at the top of the hill, this sign that says uh, Danforth, 17 miles. Grant to build Baker Ridge is probably four miles from Danforth proper. Uh, all of a sudden, the uh, chainsaw stops. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> I guess we're out for about two hours. <clears throat> we get up to uh, to Danforth. We're looking for the. They just uh, finished building a uh, fish ladder. Try to find it, but I think we found it, but we couldn't see it. 
Wouldn't have had to get out of the truck and walk around. Didn't want to do that. Then we went up to uh, the mill. Mill yard, whatever it's called. Turned around there. To, you see diesel is uh, nine cents cheaper up there in Danforth. And it is in uh, Lincoln. Or Springfield, or late. Now, it's further away from anything. So, how prices can be nine cents cheaper there. And the uh, delivery truck has to drive, uh, what, 30, 50 miles further from Lincoln. And uh, let's see. There's no easy way to get to Danforth. That'd be uh, cheaper to drive there with a delivery truck. Anyway, after uh, turning around at the mill yard or whatever it's called, oh, went back. Oh, it's 169. I was talking, playing with the idea to come back down one, but that takes you a little bit longer. It goes southeast. And uh, 169 is a diagonal across. And if you uh, remember your high school geometry, <clears throat> was it the hypotenuse or a triangle? I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, on the way back, we went down uh, Irish Settlement Road. There was a sign in, <laughs> in Danforth for a mini miniature golf. <laughs> miniature golf. So uh, we drove down there a couple miles and I had the uh, GPS on the truck for the match on the road. And the road was getting narrower and narrower and the GPS said the road ended. Clearly it continued down the hill but <clears throat> The wife was nervous. Plus, there were all sorts of uh, farm equipment and uh, old dump trucks. <coughs> Abandoned up on the uh, side of the road. So we turned around without finding the. Uh, the miniature golf. Yeah, just for a frog hop. Didn't throw it too. Clint, come on. Bugs are getting me. Out. Come, let's go. Looking good, Antonio. Signs missing there. Yeah. 
there was a uh, a hunting camp there, not a camp, like a farm. They had uh, eight foot fences and uh, a relatively new sign. Great hunt or something. and then down the lens of my, my glasses. <clears throat> Sometime today, bud. Come on. Come on, let's go. Right after, uh, before we get to that, <clears throat> along 169, oh, west of uh, Washington Township, uh, Riverside County line, there's uh, uh, several miles. They used to have uh, electric running across it, but the, uh, the poles are there, so you can see the wires are cut at the top of each pole. There's no electric out there. Why? I don't know. Well, I go through and install the uh, the poles and wire. You come back and cut the wire down. I'm sure it happened over a period of years. But uh, <clears throat> as you get back more towards 169, 170, one split. Before you get to the first independent circle, somebody. Oh, apples. I told you, you got apples walking here. Huh. As of July, you get red apples. Anyway, somebody uh, paid to have several poles, new poles installed, and. Uh, wires run from where it terminated before up to their camp so I know when we had the electric installed here it was uh, 1200 feet from our uh, driveway to where the last pole was so we had to uh, pay to have poles installed have the uh, Side of the road, bush hogged, and uh, I think it was seven thousand dollars for uh, the poles and the wire. Well, let's go. Seven thousand dollars. I can't remember the exact number. Eight years ago. I can only imagine what they paid up there. Because it was clearly, uh, I'm thinking more than a mile. Come on, but let's go. Come on, we get people to see, places to go. Things to do. Not really. <clears throat> Just want to go have my coffee. Yeah, Flynn gets walked before I have my coffee.
ったんちゃう You're gonna take care of business? Come on. So anyway, after uh, the power, we show the power. <coughs> the power. We uh, stopped down to Springfield. Grammyanas. There's a little uh, pizza, pizza, pizza store. Uh, sandwiches, that kind of stuff. But they also sell ice cream. Not soft ice cream, scooped. So we have some uh, ice cream there. <clears throat> Stopped by the Snowmobile Club. Because I had put uh, birthday wishes for Trailmaster Kevin. With a couple of pictures. I'm always experimenting with the uh, electronic sign. The, uh, <coughs> the app is uh, not that intuitive and uh, there's no real how-to's online. The manual was a crude attempt at translating Chinese to uh, English. No, come on, come on. Let's go. Uh, and actually, the, the manual was more about how to configure the, the sign itself rather than use the app. Come on. Preoccupied with down south there, aren't you? We well, have one, and then fall down by the house. Those two. Three, four, five, six, six poles. We had installed, and when the guys here to uh, estimate, get a range finder. We said, "Right, we got pole in with the flag on it." Pulled it. Stuff wasn't there, but it stood right there. And used the range finder to estimate how far it was. Had a pole with the transformer on it up there. That was just for electric. If you look up there, there's just a, the top bar is the positive, the bottom bar is the ground. There's no, uh, there's no phone. The uh, whole company at the time. Frontier, is it Frontier? Frontier.net, whatever. They said to bring phone down from that last pole, because they, uh, I don't know when they did it, but the years ago they put in underground phone cable and then right across from that pole with the transformer there's a green uh, rectangular, I guess four by four or six by six <coughs> thing comes out of the ground for a phone. So you go from there, stands at the house for 3600 bucks, <coughs> and they couldn't guarantee 
what kind of speed, if any, I would get from DSL. So uh, 3600 bucks is it with no IQ. I made the mistake of going with Usenet. And what a mistake that was. But come on, what are we doing today, huh? You don't look motivated. I spent a half hour on the phone with Usenet before I ordered it. <clears throat> talking about it. Talking about how I use things. And uh, I knew gaming wouldn't be uh, any good over satellite. But I asked him specifically about port forwarding, email server, web server. That guy guaranteed me all that would work. Ben, come on, I'm not going there. Ben, come on. You had your chance. <clears throat> so, uh, they came and sold it. And, uh, right away, <clears throat> when I tried to pour forward, nothing worked. And, uh, Call up support, and they said, "No, no, you need because uh, I have a lot of cameras." And they said, uh, "You need this kind of camera." <clears throat> and uh, as far as email server or web server, nope, we don't support that. <clears throat> so I've suffered through, I guess, five years of that. Yep, five years. Two thousand sixteen, no, two thousand fifteen to uh, the three years. The last five years, I think. Mm. I've had Starlink for, for three years now. And that's been a godsend. <clears throat> uh, when I got it, I had to pay for the equipment up front. 500 bucks, 599 or whatever it was. And it was $99 a month. Say hello. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Then the nets are out. Come on. You know he's going to hop in the woods, right? <clears throat> hey, good morning. Run over. Come on, let's go. He's gone. <clears throat> Come. <clears throat> yeah, it was ninety nine dollars a month and they bumped up to hundred twenty. And then uh, they dropped it down to ninety. <clears throat> and then the last month they raised it back up to one twenty. <clears throat> So, 
from the washer. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, another hair. Come, come. I've had, I guess, over 300 megabits per second download, and uh, up to 40 or 50 megabits per second upload, which is phenomenal. Using that, <clears throat> had uh, promised 25 megabit down and 4 meg up, and you never, never got that. <clears throat> Even on perfect picture perfect days. Use that. It could be uh, raining cats and dogs. Or snowing. Blizzard like snowing when you're still getting good throughput. <clears throat> if not, unfortunately.